Hello, welcome back. Let's play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue to go through the reference materials. Today, now that we've finished the F-15s last time, we will be moving on to the F-16. Ooh, interesting. There's actually a video for the F-16. I suppose the... Uh, yeah, I think the C is uh, in... Um... Oh. Okay, and these are the same entries, so... We're just gonna roll these into yeah yeah exact same entries uh i i assume the videos are the same too i guess we'll find out real quick uh we'll just watch this one real the f-16 from the yeah the f-16 yeah okay so it looks like those same videos um so i think we're just going to read the F-16C and go through the videos for that. And then next time we can start moving on to the F-22. And we got eight pages. They really went into detail for this one. The F-16 Fighting Falcon. Title, Lockheed Martin General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. Israel Defense Force names F-16 A-B Nets or Falcon. F-16C Barak or Lightning. And F-16D uh, Brakit or Thunderbolt. Hi. Excuse me. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm recovering from a really bad bout of the flu right now, so I'm sorry if I'm not speaking as loud and clear as I normally do. Um, type single and two seat multi role fighter. Program emerged from YF 16 of the U.S. Air Force Lightweight Fighter Prototype Program 1972. Details under General Dynamics in 1977 and 1978, and 1978 to 1979. Janes. First flight of prototype YF-16, hail number 72-01567, 2nd of February 1974. First flight of second prototype, tail number 72-01568, 9th of May 1974. Selected for full-scale development, 13th of January 1975. Day fighter requirement extended to add air-to-ground capability with radar and all-weather navigation. Production of six single-engine Sorry, six single seat S 16A and two two seat S 16Bs began July of 1975. First flight of full scale development aircraft, 8th of December 1976. First flight of F 16B, 8th of August 1977. Fleet of 3,300 F 16s achieved the 5 million flying hour late in 1993, and 3,500th 3, aircraft delivered 27th of April 1995. Backlog of over 400 aircraft in 1996, plus anticipated orders for further 500 F 16s expected to maintain production line and operation until 2005 or 2010. F 16 air combat score was 69 for no losses with three air forces by mid 1996. Uh, I would like to point out that I believe the F 16 line is still going strong because, um, well, the US is starting to face them out in favor of the F 35. Um, the Middle East has taken a particular, well, U.S. allies in general, especially the Middle East, has um, taken a liking to the F-16. I know, like, the UAE recently ordered a souped-up version that has, like, these huge conformal fuel tanks on top of it that, uh, they look like tumors almost. At least I think it was the UAE. I gotta double-check that, but, um, um, uh, I don't have my phone with me. That's fine. But, um, but yeah, they, they have uh, the latest variants. I think we're trying to sell a variant to India right now, although whether that will ever happen, I don't know. But in any case, uh, under the original procurement plan, final 12 F-16s for the United States Air Force ordered in fiscal year 94, but antici anticipated shortfall in fighter assets resulted in USAF considering plan to purchase 120 F-16 Cs and Ds by 2010. Initial batch of the six included in fiscal year 96 budget and similar quantity in fiscal year 97 requests with further contracts expected. Variants F-16A, first production version for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, production for United States Air Force completed March 1985, but still available for other customers. International sales continue, powered since late 1988, Block 15 OCU, by Pratt & Whitney F100-PW-220 Turbofan. Westinghouse ANAPG-66 range and angle track radar, first flight of first aircraft, tail number 78-0001, 7th of August 1978, entered service with the 388th Tactical Fighter Wing at Hill Air Force Base, Utah, 
6th of January 1979. Combat ready October 1980 when named Fighting Falcon, most now serving Air National Guard and Air Force Reserve. Power plants being upgraded to F-100-PW-220E between 1991 and 1996. 1994, first Air Force Reserve F-16As and Bs gained the Bay Terprom or Terrain Profile Matching Software for ground collision avoidance. Also produced in Europe, built in Blocks 1, 5, 10, and 15, of which Blocks 1 and 5 retrofitted to Block 10, Standard 1982-1984, Block 15 retrofitted to OCU Standard from late 1987. First GF-16A ground trainers relegated to instructional use at 82nd Training Wing Shepherd Air Force Base by 1993. F-16B, standard tandem two-seat version of F-16A, fully operational in both cockpits, fuselage length unaltered, reduced fuel. F-16CD, single seat and two-seat USAF multinational staged improvement program, or MSIP, aircraft respectively, implemented February 1980. MSIP expands growth capability to, ar- to allow for ground attack and beyond visual range missiles and all weather night and day missions. Stage 1 applied to Block 15 F-16 A's and B's delivered from November 1981, including wiring and structural changes to accommodate new systems. Stage 2 applied to Block 25 F-16 C's D's from July of 19. 19- July of 1984 includes core avionics, cockpit, and airframe changes. Stage 3 includes installation of systems as they become available beginning 1987 and extending up to Block 5052, including selected retrofits back to Block 25. Changes include Westinghouse ANAPG 68 multi-mode radar with improved range, resolution, more operating modes, and better ECCM or electronic counter-counter measures than the ANAPG 66. Advanced cockpit with upgraded interfaces and upfront controls. Geo or sorry, GC Marconi wide angle HUD, two multifunction displays, Fairchild mission data transfer equipment, and radar altimeter. Expanded base of fin giving space for proposed later fitment of ANALQ 165 airborne self protection jamming system since cancelled. Increased electrical power and cooling capacity, structural provision for increased takeoff weight and maneuvering limits and mill standard 1760 weapons interface for use of smart weapons such as AIM-120A AMRAM and AGM-65D infrared Maverick. First AIM-120 operational launch by any aircraft, 27th of December 1992, F-16D, tail number 90-0778 of the 33rd Fighter Squadron 363rd Fighter Wing destroyed Iraqi MiG-25. Common Engine Babe introduced at Block 3032 deliveries from July 1986 to allow fitting of either Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW-220 Block 32 or GE F-100-G-100 Block 30 alternate fighter engine. Other changes include computer memory expansion and seal bonded fuselage fuel tanks. First USAF wing to use F-16 CSDs with F-110 engines was the 86 Tactical Fighter Wing at Ramstein Air Base, Germany from October of 1986. Additions in 1987 included full level 4 multi-target compatibility with AMRAM as Block 30B, voice message unit, strike anti-radiation missiles from August, crash survivable flight data recorder, and modular common inlet duct, allowing full thrust from F-110 at low airspeeds. Design features refers mainly to the Block 40 F-16 CD. Crop Delta wings blended with fuselage with highly swept vortex control strakes along fuselage for body and joining wings to increase lift and improve directional stability at high angles of attack. Wing section NACA 64A 204 leading edge sweep back 40 degrees, relaxed stability, rearward center of gravity to increase maneuverability. Deep wing roots increase rigidity, save 113 kilograms or 250 pounds of structure weight and increase fuel volume. Fixed geometry engine intake. Pilot's ejection seat inclined 30 degrees rearward. Single piece bird proof forward canopy section. Two ventral fins below wing trailing edge. Baseline F-16 airframe life planned as 8,000 hours with average use of 55.5% in air combat training. 20% ground attack and 24.5% general flying. Structural strengthening program for pre-Block 50 aircraft required during 1990s. 
landing gear, Manasco hydraulic hydraulically retractable type, nose unit retracting rearward and main units forward into fuselage. Nose wheel is located aft of intake to reduce the risk of foreign objects being thrown into the engineering ground operation and rotates 90 degrees during retraction to lie horizontally under engine air intake duct. Allele pneumatic struts in all units. Power plant, one 131.6 kilonewton or 29,588 pounds force General Electric F110-GE-129 or one 129.4 kilonewton or 29,100 pounds force Pratt & Whitney F100 PW229 after burning turbofan as alternative standard. These increased performance engines, IPE, installed from late 1991 in Block 50 and Block 52 aircraft. Immediately prior standard was 129.9 kilonewton or 28,984 pounds force F110 GE100 or 105.7 kilonewton or 23,770 pounds force. F100 PW 220 and blocked 4042. Of 1,416 F16Cs and F16Ds ordered by the United States Air Force, 555 with the F100 and 861 with the F110 IPE variants have half share each in FY92 procurement of 48 F16s for the United States Air Force, following eight reliability trial installations, including six Block 30 aircraft, which flew. 2400 hours between December 1990 and September 1992. F-100s of Air National Guard and Air Force Reserve F-16As and Bs upgraded to 220E standard from late 1991. Accommodation. Pilot only in F-16C and pressurized and air-conditioned cockpit. McDonnell Douglas ACES 200 ejection seat. Bubble canopy made of polycarbonate advanced plastics material. Inside United States Air Force F-16 CD canopy and most Belgian, Danish, Netherlands, and Norwegian F-16 A's and B's coated with gold film to dissipate radar energy. In conjunction with radar absorbing materials and air intake, this reduces frontal radar signature by 40% to enable the pilot to sustain high G forces and for pilot comfort, the seat is inclined 30 degrees aft and the heel line is raised. In normal operation, the canopy is pivoted upward and aft by electrical power. The pilot is also able to unlatch the canopy manually and open it with a backup hand crank. Emergency jettison is provided by explosive unlatching devices and two rockets. A limited displacement force sensing control stick is provided on the right hand console with a suitable armrest to provide precise control inputs during combat maneuvers. The F-16D has two cockpits in tandem equipped with all controls, displays, instruments, avionics, and life support systems required to perform both training and combat missions. The layout of the F-16D second station is similar to the F-16C and is fully systems operational. A single enclosure polycarbonate transparency made in two pieces and spliced aft of the forward seat with a metal bow frame or metal bowl frame and lateral support member provides outstanding view from both cockpits. Avionics, comms, Magnavox ANARC-164 UHF transceiver, ANURC-126 Havquick 2A and Block 5052, provision for Magnavox KY-58 secure voice system, Collins ANARC-186 VHF AM FM transceiver, ANARC-205, have Sync Group A and Block 5052, ARC-190 HF radio, government furnished AN slash AIC-18 slash 25 intercom, and S excuse me, SCI advanced interface blanker, Teledyne Electronics AN APX-101 IFF transponder with government furnished IFF control, government furnished National Security Agency KIT-1A slash TSEC cryptographic equipment. Radar. Ooh, man, they got a lot <laughs> of information on these. Radar. Westinghouse ANAPG 68B Pulse Doppler Range and Angle Track Radar with planar array and nose provides air to air modes for range well search, uplook search, velocity search, air combat track well scan up to 10 targets, rate cluster resolution, single target track, and later high PRF track to provide target illumination for AIM 7 missiles plus air-to-surface modes for ground mapping, Doppler beam shaping, ground moving target, sea target, fixed target track, target freeze after pop-up, beacon, and air-to-ground ranging. 
Pulse upgrade under a study by Westinghouse and Lockheed Martin could provide full night, all-weather, interdiction, close air support capability. Improved radar, currently designated as APG-68I, will have synthetic aperture radar, or SAR, mapping and terrain following TF modes, and be integrated with a combined FLIR laser designator, thus eliminating need for external targeting and navigation pods. Flight, Litton LN-39 standard inertial navigation system, rain laser Litton LN-93 or Honeywell H-423 and Block 5052, and current FMS F-16A slash B LN-93 for Egypt, Indonesia, Israel, South Korea, Pakistan, Portugal, and Taiwan, plus Netherlands retrofit, and Greek second batch. Collins AN-ARN-108 ILS, Collins AN slash ARN-118 Tacken, Rockwell GPS, Honeywell Central Air Data Computer, General Dynamics Enhanced Stores Management Computer, Gould AN slash APN-232 Radar Altimeter, a Turprom Digital Terrain uh, System to be installed in all new United States Air Force F-16s. United States Air Force Reserve F-16s and 3R1 European aircraft destined for midlife upgrade in first instance, but could be offered to four military sales customers from 1996 on Block 20 F-16 AMB aircraft. Optional equipment includes Collins VIR-130 VOR slash ILS. Instrumentation, GEC Marconi Wide Angle Holographic Electronic HUD with raster video capability for Lantern, an integrated keyboard, data entry, cockpit interface, and dedicated fault display by Litton Canada and Lockheed Martin. As aeronautics cockpit TV set. Sorry, astronautics cockpit TV set. Mission systems, Honeywell multifunction displays. Lockheed Martin Lantern package comprises AN slash AAQ-13 navigation and AN slash AAQ-14 targeting pods. Turkish aircraft, 150 plus to be modified by 1996 to share 16 Lantern pod systems. Lantern also purchased by Greece and South Korea and required for a second Thailand batch. Enhanced capability Lantern, incorporating second generation FLIR tested by F-16 at Eglin Air Force Base early 1993. Sharpshooter pod, downrated export version of AAQ-14 Lantern targeting system, Acquired by Bahrain and Israel, but latter to get indigenous Rafael Lightning IR targeting and navigation pod as replacement. Initial funding already undertaken with the first delivery expected in 1996. Pakistan F-16s carry Thompson CSF at is that yeah Atlas laser designator pod. Singapore announced intention to purchase Lockheed Martin sharpshooter in late 1995. Texas Instruments AN slash ASQ 213 harm targeting system pod carried by Block 5052D aircraft. Self defense, Dalmo Victor AN slash ALR 69 radar warning system replaced in USAF Block 5052 by Laurel AN slash ALR 56M advanced RWR, which also ordered for United States Air Force Block 4042 retrofit and first export Korean Block 52s. Provision for Westinghouse ANALQ-131 on Raytheon AN slash ALQ-184 jamming pods. AN slash ALQ-131 supplied to Bahrain, Egypt, Netherlands, and Pakistan. If I want to get 80 Raytheon AN slash ALQ-184, first export order and first foreign use. Israeli Air Force F-16s extensively modified with locally designed and manufactured equipment as well as optional U.S. equipment to tailor them to the IAF defense role. This includes Elsera SPS-3000 self-protection jamming equipment in enlarged spines of F-16D-30s and Ida or Elta EL slash L 8240 ECM in third batch of F 16 C's and D's, replacing the Laurel AN slash ALQ 178 B1 report ECM in Israeli F 16 A's. Belgian F 16s have the Salt Electronique Carapace passive ECM system in fin root housing on 100 aircraft with some reserve systems from April 1995 to be used in conjunction with active AN ALQ 31. Sorry, 131 jamming pods to be obtained from surplus U.S. stocks. Armament General Electric M61A1 20mm multi barrel cannon in the port side wing body fairing, equipped with a General Electric ammunition handling system 
and an enhanced envelope gun sight part of the heads up display system and 511 rounds of ammunition. There's a mounting for an air to air missile store. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, there's a mounting for an air to air missile at each wingtip, one under fuselage centerline hardpoint, and six underwing hardpoints for additional stores. For maneuvering flight at 5.5G, the under fuselage station is stressed for a load of up to 1,000 kilograms or 2,200 pounds. The two inboard wing stations for 2,041 kilograms or 4,500 pounds each. The two center underwing stations for 1,587 kilograms or 3,500 pounds each. The two outboard underwing stations for 318 kilograms or 700 pounds each. And the two wings wingtip stations for 193 kilograms or 425 pounds each. For maneuvering flight at 9G, the under fuselage station is stressed for a load of up to 544 kilograms or 1,200 pounds. The two inboard underwing stations for 1,134 kilograms or 2,500 pounds each. The two center underwing stations for 907 kilograms or 2,000 pounds each. And the two outboard underwing stations for 204 kilograms or 450 pounds each. And the two wingtip stations for 193 kilograms or 425 pounds each. There are mounting provisions on each side of the inlet shoulder for the specific carriage of sensor pods, electro, optical, FLIR, and so on. Each of these stations is stressed for 408 kilograms or 900 pounds at 5.5 Gs and 250 kilograms or 550 pounds at 9 G. Typical stores loads can include two wingtip mounted AIM-9 L, M, or P sidewinders with up to four more on outer underwings. Excuse me, stations. Raphael Python 3 on Israeli F-16s from early 1991, centerline GPU-5-A 30 mm cannon, Drop tanks on the inboard underwing and under fuselage stations, a Lockheed Martin Pave Penny laser spot tracker pod along the starboard side of the nacelle, and bombs, air to surface missiles, or flare pods on the four inner underwing stations. Stores can be launched from aircraft hydro forming MAU 12C A bomb ejector racks, use LAU 88 launchers, or Oregon triple or multiple ejector racks. Non jettisonable centerline GPU 5A 30mm gun pods and dedicated USAF ground attack F 16As. Weapons launched successfully from F 16s in addition to Sidewinders and AIM 120A AMRAM include radar guided Sparrow and Skyflash air to air missiles, British Aerospace ASRAM and French Magic 2 infrared homing air to air missiles, AGM 65 ABDG. Uh, Maverick air-to-surface miss missiles, Harman Strike anti-radiation missiles, Harpoon anti-ship missiles, clearance trials 1993-1994, and in Royal Norwegian Air Force Service, the Penguin Mark III anti-ship missile. Israel Taz Star-1 anti-radiation weapon has also begun carriage trials on F-16D, although full-scale development is dependent upon receipt of a firm order. Dimensions external for F-16 C and D. Wingspan over missile launchers, 9.45 meters or 31 feet, 0 inches. Over missiles, 10 meters or 32 feet, 9 and 3 quarters inches. Wing aspect ratio, 3.2. Length overall, 15.03 meters or 49 feet, 4 inches. Height overall, 5.09 meters or 16 feet and 8 and a half inches. Areas for the F-16 C and D. Wings gross, 27.87 meters squared or 300 square feet. Weights and loadings, weight empty, F-16C, FW, sorry, F-100-PW-220, 8,273 kilograms or 18,238 pounds, the F-110-GE-100, 8,627 kilograms or 19,020 pounds. The F-16D, those are, sorry, those were for the F-16C. With the F-16D for the F-100-PW-220 engine, it's 8,494 kilograms or 18,726 pounds. And for the F-110-GE-100, it is 8,853 kilograms or 19,570 pounds. Max internal fuel F-16C is 3,104 kilograms or 6,846 pounds of fuel. For the F-16D, it's 2,567 kilograms or 5,659 pounds of fuel. Performance, max level speed at 12,000 meters, 40,000 feet. Above Mach 2, service ceiling more than 15,240 meters or 50,000 feet. Or, um, uh, I think that's supposed to be, uh, I think this is supposed to be a combat radius of 1,315 
kilometers or 818 miles because we just said service ceiling is 50,000 feet and I highly doubt it's 808 mi or 818 miles. So uh, combat radius 818 miles. Ferry range with drop tanks more than 2,100 nautical miles or 3,890 kilometers or 2,417 miles. Symmetrical G limit with full internal fuel plus nine. Uh, length 15.03 meters, height 5.09 meters, wingspan 9.45 meters. Max takeoff weight 19,187 kilograms. Max level speed in knots 1,321. Service ceiling 15,240 meters. And we can see in they have they wow okay I thought the uh, they they used like a desert skin for the F-16A, but I guess not. They share a completely identical model in game, which is fair. I think to the untrained eye, uh, you, you know, your average person probably isn't going to be able to tell the difference between them. So we got that going on. And then I just want to be double sure. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to be double sure of um, that they were exactly the same, including in the specification section. So with that out of the way let us go into the design and maneuvers video starting with design the f-16 from the first drawing on paper it was revolutionary changing the course of fighter aircraft small lightweight highly maneuverable the design capitalized on a daring blend of aerodynamic and system technologies in 1975 the u.s air force selected the f-16 as its primary air combat fighter then four other nations announced plans to buy F-16s, bringing the initial order to an unprecedented 998 aircraft. The first production F-16 was delivered in 1978. Today, the Lockheed Martin F-16 Fighting Falcon is the leading fighter of choice for the U.S. Air Force and 17 other countries. More than 3,500 F-16s in both single and dual pilot models have been produced at Lockheed's Fort Worth plant and co-production facilities, making it the largest multi-nation fighter production program in history. More than 400 F-16s are on order, and studies have indicated a market for at least an additional 500 aircraft, assuring broad F-16 support worldwide well into the mid-2000s. <laughs> oh, how things age. I think the F-35 program is uh, going to succeed that in size as far as international partners and stuff. But with, uh, they might not build as many aircraft, but... I mean, I, I know they have, like, those manufacturing and service centers all over Europe as part of uh, getting allies to invest into the R&D costs and stuff. Um, so with that, uh, now we have the special flight maneuvers video. In air-to-air -air combat, the F-16 has compiled a 69-to-0 kill ratio with guns and infrared and radar missiles. Powered by either a Pratt & Whitney or GE engine in the 29,000-pound class, it can cruise at Mach 2+. Plus and is capable of carrying up to 21,550 pounds of weapons, electronics, and external fuel tanks. The F-16 was the backbone of the coalition aerial campaign during the Gulf War. It flew 13,500 combat missions in 43 days. The first three combat kills with an AMRAAM missile were scored with the F-16. The first kill was over southern Iraq, the second over northern Iraq, and the third was in operations and I flight over Bosnia. The F-16's multi-role missions include air superiority, combat air patrol, precision strike interdiction, battlefield support, airborne forward air control, maritime operations, defense suppression, night attack, and reconnaissance. Clearly, the highly versatile and deadly F-16 is an unsurpassed value for any nation, regardless of mission requirements or size of the Air Force. And there's definitely truth to that. It's probably one of the cheaper U.S. Uh, fighters to operate, and it's just capable of so much. Like, obviously, it's not going to be like an F-15 uh, in air-to-air -air combat or in, like, payload capacity for air-to-ground combat, but it makes for a solid, cheap workhorse. Uh, and the single engine makes maintenance easier, of course. So I believe that is going to do it for us for today. Uh, next time, it looks like we'll be getting into the, uh, can we see the, uh, and not really all that well. I was going to see if we could see those uh, markings on it. It looks like it doesn't have any set unit markings, but, uh, but yeah, I think that'll be it for us today. And next time we will be starting to get into the F-22. So, see me. With that being said, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there. And we'll see you then.